Welcome back to what I think is the final chapter 7. I think it's the final one. There's usually three, uh, what do you call them, like chapter chapters. <laughs> There's like three parts usually of each chapter, but um, the last one had four, but I don't think this one has four, I think it just has the three. Which is good, it means we get through faster. I love things the fast way, I love being fast. Uh, what a mess. Hey, clean up. Animals. Once again with the graffiti, look, he writes it exactly the same way each time. Wish I could do that. Each time I'd spray paint, I'd write it differently. You know what I'm saying. I'm just going to shut up now. Um, to the door? Yep. Because I heard the... Let's watch TV. Mm. Max Payne has nowhere left to go. We are very close to capturing him. You'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy donut. Chief Jim Rivera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Bravora to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now. Bit confident, Max. Way out of your league. You're a sneaky little thing. Uh, can I open that? No. What the hell happened there? Some guy fell off his chair. And <laughs> or Vinny. Okay, this is it. Any moment now, Payne's gonna bust through that door with murder inside. It's either him or us. I, for one, am gonna pump the SOB so full of lead, they'll be a full clip to carry coffins to the grave. <laughs> okay, so I'm ready now. <laughs> Go! Oh, look at that, I dived into him. I speared him. I don't know what killed him, I hit all the gun. Two more. Whee! Oh, did he throw a grenade? No, he did too. Wow, that hurt. I hate grenades in this game. Enemies just do it like, I don't know, out of nowhere, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. And you've only got a couple of seconds, like one second until it goes off and it does so much damage. Oh, so much. See? Look at that. I ran away from it. It barely got me and yet it's done like three quarters damage. Freaking annoying. I'm gonna risk it. Kind of paid off. Oh yeah, we've got to take out Vinny now. We're close to the end. Now, there's going to be heaps of guys down here. I think it's better to just stay up and... Because I'm almost dead. It's better to just stay up and I think some... Yeah, sometimes they come up like that and you just whack them. Any more coming? No, they're just going to stay down there. Then. Well, I should be able to pick them off from up here. Uh... Pop your pills, Maxi. Oh, got him. Sweet. Is there more in this area? I know there's more on the other side, but... Ah, oh, there is. Two. Oh, that is sweet. Jumping off the building like that, the stairs. I think we just got Vinny left now. I think. Don't take my wolf. No. There he is. Sorry, Vinny.
Dum dum dum. Gagnetti ran out of steam in a dead end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shakedown time. Oh, it was shakedown time. Did you that? Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. <laughs> you, you, you can't Bad just in cold blood? Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, the nightclub. Book me, take me in the home into the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be ready at your funeral. <laughs>